as the last one moves in. So we're just about set for a start. Light blinks away. Racing now and springing out of the gates was Styling City. Wishful Thinker began fast, as did Regency Legend. They've got superior pace over California Fortune and Regency Legend pressuring for the lead with Styling City, who boots up to hold him out. Wishful Thinker's very keen in third after being hurried out of the gates from California Fortune. Two further back make it, three further back now, Jolly Banner. Winner's way and Seasons Bloom was last, but he's picking up speed as they charge to the 700 and Styling City is dictating, albeit narrowly, by a neck to Regency Legend. Wishful Thinker still a little keen on their back in third. He's being held in by California Fortune. Caesar Bloom rolling up behind them. Jolly Banner showing the persuader and winner's way. They corner in to the judge. And the leader is Regency Legend to the roar of the crowd as Purton takes him to the lead from Styling City. Wishful Thinker and Seasons Bloom thundering home down the middle from California Fortune. He took a peep over Regency Legend. Zach Purton's clear. Seasons Bloom into second. Jolly Banner's a chance of running third. Regency Legend, a real running machine, and he's got the Chiefs Executives Cup won by two to Seasons Bloom and Jolly Banner. Styling City ran fourth. Wishful Thinker was fifth. Then Winner's Way and California Fortune. Oh, he is exciting, isn't he? Regency Legend. Purton was quite aggressive from the barriers. Three races down, it's a double for Danny Shum so far and a double for Zach Purton. Seasons Bloom has run as most thought he would. He'd been working terrific going into this power at home. And Jolly Banner, the outsider, has really hit the line well to take third ahead of Styling City, who was headed off shortly.